recording in progress. Okay, so interesting times. What I felt since this weekend, as you'll remember from the previous sessions, hi Kirsty. Hi, sorry, I couldn't get, oh, I'm not getting my lighting or <laughs> earphones working or anything, but carry on speaking. Okay. So uh, please remember to turn off your microphones. Okay, so what I've been feeling since this weekend, as you remember, and for the new people, um, we have been very much, have been guided by the water energy. So for a couple of months, the water energy was very present and we're very aware of the water or the lack of water in our lives. Since the weekend, I felt the change into earth energy. So for now, we are being guided by earth energy, going into a phase of that. And the earth energy is all about grounding. So remember, with all of these heat changes happening, you might be feeling pains in your body as we are working on shifting the DNA, changing the DNA to become a lighter being. So I've had terrible pains in my hips and legs for the last couple of weeks. And I was hoping that with the fasting that I would heal that. But the earth energy that's coming in, Archangel Ariel said to me today, this is why we are feeling the root chakra so much as well, because it's about grounding, reconnecting to the earth and that aspect of Mother Nature. And grounding the earth energy is all about support, belonging, and you will see that coming up with this full moon on Saturday as well. All kinds of aspects surrounding where do I belong? Do I feel about where I am will be popping up and it might be a bit cruel energy so it can be hectic for you to question if you are happy and if changes need to be made if new decisions need to be made. okay so I didn't plan anything and I didn't get guidance before because I'm just going to allow Archangel Ariel to channel through me the information for today about life purpose because this is also what we're focused on going forward. Remember we spoke last time about the 3D process where we are busy transforming the harsh male energy that has been present on the earth for a long time into the divine feminine of compassion and love, peace and understanding. And although that is included in our ascension process, it is not the ascension process. And the ascension process is all about how do you show up as a soul to contribute to the changes that need to happen on earth. So to show up and to be aware of when you are needed, where you are needed by spirit, Download new information and to bring it to your daily lives. Okay. So I'm going to let Archangel Ariel take over and talk about life purpose. And then I'm going to allow you to ask your questions. Okay. Dearly beloved, children of the stars, we are grateful that you show up, that you come to listen to the voice of spirit. For the you yourself is your guiding light. Your connection to your soul is what keeps you strong, what keeps you away, what makes you persist, and carry on on this path that you call your current life. At this stage, the energy has shifted to a level 
where everything is changing. You are being guided to access higher awareness than ever before. You cannot allow yourself to be caught up in the 3D world anymore. You cannot allow yourself to be part of the struggle and the survival issues anymore. You have awoken. You have moved past that. And although you are still very busy being aware of who you are in the 3D world, how you show up and what you create, your greater purpose is much more than that. Your greater purpose is about ascending, about assisting the Earth's energy to gain an upgrade into a greater perspective of being. This has been attempted through hundreds and hundreds of years. Often, societies and civilizations have come into being that has accessed the old teaching, that has tried to teach the road to ascension. And every time, the harsh energies, the controlling energies, have taken over, have crucified, have killed those beings. And now the time is right and ready for you to reincarnate and for that energy to rise again. Unfortunately, most of you have forgotten. And so we need to take you to places and times where you can remember, where you can access that energy. Be part of a group, to be part of the consciousness. To help elevate that energy. And so although you have a purpose in the 3D world, your greatest purpose is to leave behind all that you think you know. All you think you want for yourself. And to move into the space of becoming a selfless being. A being that shows up be of service and having the rewards given by accessing these higher teachings for joy will be yours, fulfillment will be yours and that is why we are calling for you to let go of your fears and everything that holds you back from making the decision to show up to join more and more souls that are accessing this reality. And so to leave behind all that ignites your ego and your fear. And to become aware of selfish behavior where you think it is about you and your path but also to remember that your path is for the greater whole. But truth be told, we want to tell you that each of you are unique soul, and each of you bring to you, this earth, this world, a unique trait to help develop and change the energies in your own unique way. And this is what we want to bring to you tonight, to answer to you those questions. And lately, because time is of the essence, because the changes are happening right now, people may feel that spirit has started pressurizing them. But we cannot allow you to let this time pass because this is what you are here for. And if we do not remind you, if we do not call on you to come on the journeys that we call you to participate in, you will find 
that your life has been for naught. This is not to scare you, because all of you that are present are ready to hear, to listen, to learn, to put aside that which you think is troubling you, what you think is holding you back or standing in your way, whether it be finances or time or health. We call to you to believe in more than ever before. So that your world can change and your life can change into the vibration of pure joy, peace and fulfillment. We are ready to listen to your questions now. Okay. Hi, Sadine. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Who's got the question ready? Marissa? Not. Okay, Claire? Your microphone. Sorry, I had to unmute myself. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sitting here in a hoodie. You're boiling hot and I'm freezing. We've got a fire in the lounge. It's five degrees. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it is. I love Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I suppose my question is, um, Belinda, I don't know. I just feel like, I'm a hamster on a wheel at the minute and I just run and run and run and I just get nowhere. Like I feel like that with work at the minute because we're just so busy and I, I just feel like that with life in general. Do you know? Like it's, is it ever going to get a little bit calmer? <laughs> I look forward to no. the calm. <laughs> the thing is... Please just give me a minute to open the door for a cat. So sorry. No worries. <coughs> All right. The thing is... We've actually been prepared for this. Unfortunately, we get stuck in a 3D world. And that's why you are feeling like that. And you need to do more to get you out of that reality or to get yourself unstuck from that reality. If you are feeling like that, it means that you are still clinging to certain belief systems of what needs to be done. This is my son's cat, Pippet. So, yeah, okay. the thing is that this is where the commitment comes in. To be more soul and to show up for the spiritual things that need to happen. Otherwise, life is going to run away with us. Does it make sense? Mm. So let's see what Archangel Ariel wants to tell you. <laughs> there is trial. It is as if you have locked yourself in a dark room and there's only a sliver of light and you keep peeking through the hole at the light, knowing that that will bring you joy and fulfillment. But you keep turning back to the dark room, thinking that that is your world. This is why we are asking so many people to take that leap of faith, 
to join in the journeys that we are planning for you to Ireland and Scotland so that you can be awakened and leave this rat race behind. You have been guided for a couple of years now to surrender, to trust, to believe in the bigger picture. And you already know this, dear heart. It is within your being. You need to allow yourself but you need to trust that you are worthy to be part of that. You wouldn't be on this group if you were not one of the invited ones. Let me just explain to the new people what this is about. These um, journeys that Archangel Ariel is talking about um, they are guiding us to go on these trips to Ireland and Scotland. I don't know which countries would come after that. So that we can go and access our highest truth from our druidic lives. When we had lifetimes as druid, where we were already accessing the energies of ascension, the knowledge. But because we were killed in those lives, we couldn't bring forward that wisdom. And it has been forgotten through the ages. But we already contain it inside of ourselves. It is just to sort of go and access it and bring it back to our lives. And like the angels have said to us, it needs to be a difficult decision. You need to shift your belief systems as to why you can't. I've seen with myself and other people so many excuses we have right now. And I'm trying to force myself to get over the excuses. It's like this um, weekend, this fasting weekend. I still can't believe I went. <laughs> but I just do what the angels say and I dive at first. And I challenge myself to see what I'm capable of. And how I can retrain my mind away from that. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. It's so easy for us in this lifetime to say, I can't, or I don't have the time, or I don't have the money. But this is why we are here. We are here to rewrite that pattern of suffering. And only by doing that and showing up and bringing this knowledge back to our respective spaces, workspaces, homes and countries, can we start creating this change? Okay. Anything else, Claire? No, that's good. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have a question in line with with life purpose? Yes. I have a uh, okay, sorry. Okay, do you want to go first? Christy, you go. Your mic's on. Um. Okay, there's a book called Conversations with God by um, Neil, Neil Donald, Donald Walsh. Walsh. Yeah, and he speaks about how um, life is not a school, of which I've always thought, no, life is a school because we're here to keep coming back to just learn what we need to learn. But he says, sorry, I haven't put my um, video on because for the, no, the Wi Fi connection. Okay. So he says, it's um, life, you're here to remember. Okay. So remember yourself back into um, being a member of the universe and people as one. But my question is if we already know what we need to remember, then why, if we already know what we need to know, why do we have to keep coming back to remember what we already know? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's the interesting question. Let's see what Archangel Ariel says about that. Give me a moment.
this is the thing that we are trying to explain to people. As above, so below. But people need to understand as below, so above. So what is happening in all dimensions affects each other. And your lack of remembering every time you return to earth, it's affecting the heavenly dimension. So every time you come into a life, it is to recover, to get back to the ascension process. So every time you pass over back into the heavenly dimensions, if you have lived a life where you stayed unaware, where you stayed in the ego, selfish or in fear, in survival mode, you do not necessarily attain a level of enlightenment on the other side. So you keep coming back and try and achieve that. There is a reason why all religions teach how to be a better person. And it is not about being a better person so that you can get to heaven instead of hell. It is about achieving your soul's greatness on earth. Because what you are being guided through religions to be is the whole soul self. And to be that within a physical body, within a physical life. And in the beginning, in some of your first lifetimes, you've had that. But because of wars, because of the change of belief systems, because people started fighting each other, they fell into forgetfulness. And the more they hurt each other, the more, the more they pass over into a space that isn't on the energy frequency of enlightenment. And so for eons, your souls have been reincarnating to evolve into that presence. And this is why we are pushing you right now to become aware and that we are giving you this opportunity to remember. And enlightenment is about returning to source. It is about remembering the full aspect of yourself. And there, that is where reincarnation stops. When you remember who you are. But you keep falling into the trap of forgetfulness. And you keep falling back into the trap of survival. And then you die, still clinging to the fear and the pain and the loss, which isn't real on any level. It was created by man, by humanity, and there is no room for it anymore. This is why it is essential that you start showing up to allow yourself to fully remember. Does that make sense, Gertie? Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. So, will so existence will just keep going until everybody has ascended I'm assuming and then what happens once everybody has reached the same point or is this not going to happen everybody doesn't soon? have to reach the same point it's about the tipping point being reached so the more of us that reach that point the quicker it will happen and you know but also needing to know what will happen or where we are going is part of this human problem. Mm. 
<laughs> because we are so stuck in wanting to know the outcome and why we are doing this work, what we're going to get out of it, that we are missing the point. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Angels always say to me, if you're not getting the answer, you're asking the wrong question. Be okay with not needing to know. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just when I heard this um, podcast today that I had I got the question. And I was like, hmm, what does that mean? So, no, I have my answer, so it makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think, you no. Know, it's just so much information out there at this stage. And part of this human condition is we're trying to, because in our hearts, we know that we are busy with the ascension process. So too many people try and listen to too many things and gain too much knowledge at the same time. So it's, it's almost like, Cramming in all this stuff without understanding. Whereas when you start living it and you start trusting your own guidance, you will receive more from it than gaining all this knowledge, but not without any personal work. Yeah, it's true. Okay. I'm not saying don't listen to it, but listen as you are guided. Don't just go and listen to everything because you feel that you have to get somewhere or that you are not educated enough in what is happening. Okay. Yeah. And lots of people teach the same things in different words. I mean, when I feel about the water energy, all of a sudden I will see on Instagram and Facebook, everybody's talking about the water energy. So, you know, we are all connected. And we are all feeling the same things. We might just be expressing it in different ways. Okay. Um, who else? Belinda, you wanted to ask? Yes. Yes. Um, hello, Belinda. Hello, um, Belinda. Yeah. My, my life currently is quite in a turmoil. Um, but I, you know, it's just something that I need to go through. I need just to bite the bullet and go through it. Um, but uh, one of my dreams, or I think higher callings, is that I want to do, uh, go to more into vulture conservation. And... Um, I've sort of connected with uh, the Vulture Conservation Foundation in Zurich, in Switzerland. And um, on some of my Instagram posts, well, on one specific one, they partnered with me, which I was very happy about, because it was sort of an acknowledgement of my images that I post, because I do it with a purpose also to create awareness of the the endangerment of um, vultures all over the world. So um, I just want to know if there's a possibility that I would end up, not not necessarily end up there, I don't see myself end up there, but I would like, one of my dreams will be to do something like an internship um, there for a number of months um, because they work all over Europe. What is your question, Nabi? So I would just want to know, is that a possibility for me? Um, is that is that part of my life purpose to do that? Okay. You know, we don't do future telling. Let's see what Archangel Ariel wants to tell you. I just need to keep this cat off my keyboard. He just wants to jump onto my computer. Okay, give me a moment. Here is all. You are a teacher soul. You came to earth to teach about awareness. 
about our connection to Earth and humanity's connection to Earth. You came to be an example. And it doesn't matter how you choose to do this, as long as it is in line with your passion and compassion. But what you've been guided to see through your situation that you're going through now is that it is a cleansing process to become aware of the self and how you act and react. Purifying the ego to align yourself with earth. So many souls have come to earth to serve the planet. To reconnect with mother nature in one way or other. And this is why the purification process is so important. Because Mother Nature needs you to be without ego, without fear, without judgment, to align with her beauty. And whatever you choose to do with pure intent will be celebrated on all levels. One thing we ask of you is to do it for you and with joy. Nothing to prove. Don't expect a certain outcome. Just enjoy living your passion. I think that's what we keep forgetting in our human situation. That's what I wanted to say before as well, you know. We can get answers to sort of understand things, but we've got a human brain right now. And we can only fully understand everything when we go back over to the other side and, and see the greater picture. And I believe that we are born with that, with that knowledge. Unfortunately, in the way that we are brought up, we are... I did to forget that we are souls because even as children we are taught to survive, to work, to show up, to prove yourself, to be in competition, to be better. That's where we forget and then we have to remember again. And this is the process that we are busy with, is purification. Is to let of everything that we've been taught in so many, many lives as to how to be noticed and how to be good enough and how to be successful because the soul doesn't need that. And, you know, we are all examples of that right now. What they are saying might sound harsh, but this is a process that we signed up for. And especially if we are busy with the, the purification process, we cannot do or think or eat anything that's not in line with and in harmony with nature and our planet. Okay. Belinda, did that answer your question? Yes, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? <laughs> yeah, well, I understand it as that it should be something that you truly want to be your life purpose. It's not a, as you say, it's not a, a competition or a, yeah, a race or whatever. It's, it is something that you would do if with your connection to earth in order to serve um, in my case my passion of a certain bird species yes that is that is how I see your answer I don't know whether I've interpreted it incorrectly no 
So, you know, I think all of our purposes are actually just this purification and returning to, to oneness. But in the 3D world, it is incorporated with something that you've chosen as the kind of soul that you are, that you want to participate in. And for you, it's nature and wildlife. And that's why they say you can do it in any way that you choose. There's no specific thing that you have to do as long as it brings you joy and peace and fulfillment. Yes. Well, it definitely does. Cool. Then, then, yeah, then I know what to do. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Anybody else? Um, I would like to go. Okay. And then Candace. Okay. Please. Okay. So I just, so um, actually, as I was wondering, I was thinking about my question. I received, you know, the answer already, but I would like, I would love the more, the in-depth answer. Um, when I studied, <laughs> I wanted to be a journalist and all other things and I really didn't want to teach and my father because all of them are teachers so I worked with children all my life and then youth and then life threw me in to adults and love and relationships and making your dreams a reality through my own fires that's what I learned so I've always had this thing of yes I work with the feminines and through my own growth and things like that but then I had this question that or oh, should I turn the masculine or what should I focus more on and I know that the feminines then reflect and the and mirror the masculines will mirror that or they will mirror that so we work with the feminines and even in my clients the men that come are more in their feminine energy. So, yeah, I was, that is the one part of the question. And then the other part is, I feel like I'm kind of done with the cycle of children now. And I can feel I'm, I'm flowing over more to the other side. Um, but it's just like, yeah, I, if I apply for a job, I don't get jobs. And I know it's because I have to do my own thing because definitely it's not that I'm unemployable. So it's just that stuck and it's like I just have to go over the hill now. And yeah, so it's just the feminines, the masculines. And should I then focus more on, on the feminines or, and allow the mirroring to happen? Um, yeah, I think the answer will come clearer as <laughs> more clear than the question. Give me a moment. Dearest child, you are so lost in your questions. You are so lost in your need to know. Your soul is an inspirer. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you inspire yourself and others. As you live by example, as you overcome your mind, others will follow. There is no work to do. Just be present. Walk in front. As you learn from your own energy, your own masculine and feminine, you will attract the ones to you that need your guidance. Nothing more you need to do or overthink about. You are doing what you need to do. Just allow it to unfold. That's always typically the angels. It's for them everything is simple. <laughs> yeah, that I the answer of the question was so 
all over the show, but the answer is clear. That's all for the answer that thank you. I'm happy. Okay. Candice? Hello, everyone. Thank you, Belinda, for the opportunity. I think I'm possibly one of the many overthinkers um, on the group. Um, what I would really, really love to know and would find really useful is the type of soul that I am and how I've chosen to serve. I think it's, it's something I'm questioning at the moment. It's something I'm very open to. And I don't feel as if I've yet decided my path in this 3D world. And I would love some guidance. Okay. Give me a moment. Dearest child, you are a bringer of change. Actually, you just have to walk your path. And what doesn't fit you, do it differently. Be the example of change. You know your deepest truth. You know your deepest convictions. And you are not easily turned away from your convictions. But it might feel lonely to walk in front, to change the way that it has been for hundreds of years by doing it differently. But that is who you are. And no matter what you do, as long as you bring change, you are living your purpose. And as long as you are bringing change with the purest of intentions, your heart will sing and you will know joy. That was beautiful. It really was. Yes, it's, it's so encouraging. Thank you. I think what we all need to know is, you know, if you are here, you're probably a black sheep. And, and you need to own that. We are the steamrollers. We are the change makers. We, we are here to do that. And, you know, without excuse, as long as we do it with pure intent. Okay. Um, Corin asked a question. Let me see where the cats. Did they move it? I think they moved everything around here. Yeah. Chat. Okay, I've missed the chats before, sorry. I got the message late this afternoon that when I just ask, they'll answer, but then I must listen. What do they need me to do? Okay. <laughs> Let's see what she says. Here is child, as you've asked this question so straight, we want to give you a straight answer. We want you to be brave. We want you to get up and get out there. You're hiding away. Doing the internal process. But at a certain stage, the process needs to shift. And you need to start radiating the changes that you're making inside. But you are scared. You keep to yourself. You keep yourself low, unnoticed. But without fulfillment. And so we are asking you to show up. We are inviting you to come to us, to come with us to Ireland, to bring this change and fulfillment to your being. You don't need to do more. Just show up. And all that is around you will celebrate your transformation.
yeah, the angels have started being very straightforward about the showing up. <laughs> Corinth, does that make sense to you? Would you rather not no, chat? Yeah, the thing definitely. Bye, Ranky. Okay. That was a, a straight answer to a question. Thanks. Okay, we'll chat about it more later. <laughs> <In private. laughs> okay. Anybody else? Well, Can be any question? question. Yeah, actually. Yes, please. So I'm sitting and I'm listening to everyone and I'm kind of just going... <laughs> You know, well, it's the little things. It's like when my energy is high and vibrating well, it's like nothing. I don't think about anything. It's just like it's you're in tune and you're, you're showing up and you're just you're going with the flow. And as soon as the energy dips, it feels like you start overthinking things or you you start questioning yourself um, in a way. And I'm just wondering, like, is that the ego kind of coming in and you know, conflicting, or is it actually giving you an opportunity to go like, what's working, what's not working? Because sometimes when the energy is so high and you feel so elevated, it's like nothing phases you. So you don't always see things so clearly. I, I, I'm not sure. It, and then the energy, if it dips, which it has for me now, like let's say in the last week, mm. and then it, it suddenly stuff becomes thicker, you know, sticky. So I understand the 3D and the ego, but I'm trying to like to differentiate between the two, uh, knowing that it will change full well. Things are always changing, so I won't stay in this right now. But maybe it's about clarity, like becoming clear within myself when sometimes I'm more inclined to focus on making sure that everybody else is okay before taking care of me, which is something I know I do. But uh, at this stage, it kind of feels like fly in whichever way spirit takes you just fly go with it and don't let anything hold you back mm. but then i go like there is, is it sometimes is that the scatter brain that comes in or is it like it sometimes it feels so full in me that i can't not listen to it so i'm maybe just wanting clarity on that like and and then when you said the energy changed from water to earth i'm like or is it that I just need more grounding right now to become clear? Okay. Remember, the energy shifts are all about up and downs. We are frequent beings. They will never just be us, not on earth. So yeah. the downs are also always contemplative times where we feel that things are thicker, like you say, you know, it's more sluggish don't feel as inspired or motivated but those down times are actually reflection times where you get deeper insight before you move into doing and inspiration again and remember that when we are entering a low or a thicker time it is also because we are always in flux and in balance um, not many of you were in this group from the beginning. I think only Marissa has, has come all the way since this stop. So what the angels have said before as well is, you know, change isn't about being in balance all the time. Change happens through movement. So yes, we want to be in balance, but and we want to be in the positive, but the negative has to come in so that we can, every time that you fall into that negative or the challenges, that you can decide to bring it back to the positive. But it's that movement that creates the change on earth and in the consciousness. So we have to constantly feel that in order to create the movement. I hope that makes sense. So there's a place for the low times or the sluggishness because it's times where you make a decision to bring balance again and to bring yourself back to lightness. Does that make sense, actually? Yes, yes, thank you. 
Okay, and that also answers Belinda's question in the chat, Belinda. So every time we go through something difficult, something that is a challenge, it's, it teaches us to purify, not be the people that we used to be and who we used to be in previous lives to say, oh, I've done this millions of times before and I'm not going to do it the same way I did in previous lifetimes. I'm here to find a new way. I'm here to find a way of love and fulfillment to deal with anything. So it's, I hope that makes sense to both of you. Yes, it does. Okay. Anybody else? Ram, aren't you going to ask us a question? <laughs> Your microphone is off. There we go. Good God. Yeah. I can't tell you how it's I struggled to get that. The group. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wanted to say, you know, is this an all women's group? What's going <laughs> on here? <laughs> Men are just scared. So um, we honor your braveness, bro. Thank you. I mean, you know, I mean, I love the whole thing about purpose and it took me forever to get to to purpose. And, you know, eventually it's like, I mean, through so much work and doing and this and that, you know, I sort of know that a part of my purpose is, is actually to bring feminine energy into the world, you know, and with my work and what I do, you know, that's what I do. Um, I must say I'm not particularly great or, or, or happy with 3D it's not my best time. I mean, I know I came to help to shift and to work this and whatever. And I sometimes feel I'm not really doing anything. You know, it's like I, there's much more to do. But I also believe there's a time. And at one stage, you actually said to me, you know, you're not supposed to know. You will not know. When the time's right, you'll get there. You know, so, you know, I'm working and do my thing patiently. So my question really is just, is there a message from Ariel that just to, you know, is there something more that I should do at the moment? Or is 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 it, I don't want to say smooth sailing because hell, life is not smooth sailing at all. But is there <laughs> something that I should add to my process at the moment? Okay, let's see. Dearest Charles, we celebrate every soul that incarnated into the male energy and every soul that incarnated into the male energy that's brave enough to bring through love and compassion in the way that you do. And yet we think that you have fallen into a comfort zone. It is not about doing more in the 3D, but about showing up for your ascension. It is time to pack your bags and come on our pilgrimage. It is time to bring back more than ever before, more than you could ever think to experience, so that your life can be heightened and your soul experience can be heightened. We know your fears and we know your longings and we say to you, that all is possible within this lifetime. All that can bring you joy and fulfillment. But as you say, there will always still be difficulties and struggles. But it has purpose. Because every struggle is a step. But you are ready. And we want to celebrate with you. And we want to sing with you. And we want to see you make fun and laughter your best possible reality. We are waiting for you. You are ready. I just want to say... I'm only the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Please don't. 
Because <laughs> they keep hammering on these pilgrimages and I'm in between and I'm like, please just stop. Don't let me tell another person to please join this pilgrimage. But this is what we are here to do, apparently. And that is the 5D thing. Um, you know, and, and what we need to realize, and this is all so new to me as well. This information that I've been receiving lately since I've returned from Ireland this year and returning from my dolphin trip and now my fasting is that, you know, this, this messages that I'm receiving is, is so new to me and I think on, on earth that we struggle to understand it. It doesn't make sense from where we are in the 3D and busy with the spiritual process on this level. Now they want us to at least that level, and again, that level of understanding, which they say incorporates this. So we, yes, we're still going to be busy with this, but if you're busy with that, it will handle this. If it makes sense. Um, I thought of something else that would explain it that I forgot now. Does it make sense to you guys that as long as we are stuck in this survival and I don't have money and I don't have time and my butt aches too much to go up that mountain, <laughs> we we ignore what we are actually here to do. And they want to save us sort of, of of being stuck in this heavy 3D. And I cannot tell you why these trips are so important yet. I think it's only after that we will understand. And I can tell you from my first trip to, to Ireland this year, um, and it's about the group thing, by the way. It's about going as a group so that the energy can be higher in the accessing. And I can only tell you that before I went this year, the angel said to me, you'll come back a different person. And I came back and my life was the same. Everything was the same, but I was different. And my relationships, my normal relationships were different. I communicated differently and people communicated differently with me. So we can't know what it is that we need to bring back until we show up. There's another question. So we are pushed out of our comfort zone. Yes. Happy for a while. <laughs> and they will keep pushing because every time we find a new comfort zone, Okay. Anybody else? Does Archangel Ariel have a message for me, Belinda? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Maria. So let's see. Dearest child, such a long time that you feared, that you strayed, for everything to just fall into place. And then you get new things to fear and trace about. For more than 10 years, we've been guiding you in releasing what you think you should be in control of. And you've done so well. You've grown so much. And we will keep challenging you to believe in more and to not bring up any excuses to live the life that your soul has chosen. And from here on, fulfillment will be yours. The more you show up, the greater your freedom will be from everything that you have feared before. And it shall be no more. 
and you shall be at peace. I hope that makes sense. It does. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anybody else before we go into the meditation? Belinda, I just want to ask a general question. Maybe this will um, be some, um, shed some light for other people as well. Sometimes I feel that or I, we get soul talents and then it's like it's kind of dimmed and then another one is highlighted for a time. And like, especially in the beginning, it was like that. And then when I learned a lot of the soul talents, it just started flowing together it was like one was highlighted and then we went to the next chapter and then that one was gone and we learned that one and then as soon as but i'm still learning to master every day i'm not saying that i've mastered i'm learning to master every day and yeah so i just wanted to yeah that's that's kind of i just wanted maybe we can get some clarity on that you're talking about soul talent. Yeah, or maybe like clear audience or hearing or hearing the messages and then kind of like the the knowing of the messages and then that goes away and then it's like you see more visual pictures and then that and then at the end for me it was like that then it all just came together and it works together. Okay, so what's your question? No, I want to know if it if it is like that, if it's highlighted and then like some are just like at some stage I saw a lot of pictures or I saw a lot of and then that went away. It's just like it's kind of dimmed. Does it make sense? Okay. Yeah. You know, different guides and angels also work in different ways. So you might pick up different energies with different senses as well. Depends on how you connected to them in past lifetimes. But let's see what Archangel Ariel wants to say. Okay. We see it the other way around. You have the access to your full capabilities as a soul. You just fall into forgetfulness and remember a little part at a time. Or use the ones that you are attuned to at that stage. But all is available to you at all times. It's just the cloudy reality of your world that masks it sometimes. And that is why we always persist in saying, create a life of habits, create a life of movement and meditation and healthy eating and all of that will help you access your spiritual talents. The one thing that disguises your spiritual talent, in other words, your connection to your higher self the most, is when you act in a way that is not in harmony with your soul's wholeness. When you eat something that is of lower vibration, when you think things, that are of lower vibration, when you say things that are of lower vibration. We cannot repeat this enough. Only in the purification will you be fully connected to the whole experience of your soul. And this is why this lifestyle is important beyond anything. And there can be no excuses for unawareness anymore.
And this is not a judgment. This is a guidance. For you know this and your soul knows this. And this brings us back to the question of forgetfulness. You choose to forget. You choose to live in a world where you buy your food off a shelf, unaware. Unaware of the pain and the suffering that was caused to plant or animal. Unaware that you put that into your body and dull your spiritual center. And it is only by clearing that the highest level of intention that the path and the door to your soul will be open in all ways, in all directions, to all dimensions and will never be forgotten again. And that is essential. Sure, I've never even thought of it like that. Fantastic. I think that was a beautiful answer for all of us. Thank you. We forget how precious our body is as a vessel. And what we do to the body in terms of what we think, what we say to ourselves, how we judge ourselves, how we act towards other people and then lose respect for ourselves and what we eat and lose respect for earth and for all sentient beings, it has an effect. It has an effect on our vibration. And I think we need to address those excuses for all of us. And I mean, for me, I've been a vegan for a long time, but still so many things are being shown to me of what is just unacceptable for my body. And yes, it, it is difficult. It becomes less and less <laughs> what we can put into our body, especially every time when I have upped a level or a frequency, it it always goes with leaving behind some something that I've eaten or, or drinking a drink have been drinking. So this weekend I actually eat from sugar and coffee as well um, for the other people it was of, of animal product as well but um, for me the main thing was was the coffee and the sugar and I must say wow I um, was completely more energetic um, more focused more aware there's just so many things that we just take because we're used to it it's just our normal and we must really look at what, if our normal is really in line with our highest purpose. Okay. All right. I think let's go into our meditation. We just take another gulp of water. See, no coffee. All the other evenings I had a cup of coffee with me. <laughs> okay. So... You can turn on off your camera if you want, and you can lie down or sit in a comfortable position. For the new people at the end, I'm not going to bring you completely out of the meditation. I'm going to leave you to relax as long as you need to, and you can bring yourself back. So you can stay in that space for as long as you need. Okay. So you can either sit upright like me on the floor, you can have your legs straight in front of you if you're sitting on a chair or on the bed. Uncross your legs, please, unless you are sitting in easy pose or cross-legged like I am now. You can do that. Hands on the lap or on the knees with the palms up in a receiving posture. If you want to, you can put the hands in Gyan Mudra where thumb and the index finger touches. That is your Jupiter finger and it brings concentration to the mind. So it makes the mind more aware of everything that you are experiencing. Okay. So 
So close your eyes. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in and out. As you breathe in, you expand the tummy to be able to breathe in deeper. And exhale. Ooh, breathe in. And out. Become fully aware of your body as you are sitting or lying down. Become very present in your physical body. As you allow yourself to be aware of your physical body in the space of the room that you are in. We want you to become very aware of the physical body. We're going to take you through it. Allow yourself to focus on your toes. Becoming very aware of your toes. And allowing them to relax, to let go of all feelings of stress that you might hold in your toes. Become very aware of the soles of your feet, the tops of your feet, your heels and your ankles. Allowing both feet to release and to relax. Imagining that all cells within the feet open up to receive the calm, the healing energy that is available to you right now. And still staying aware of your breath, breathing in and out. The breath is calming down to bring your awareness from your ankles up into your legs towards the knees, allowing the calm, healing energy to spread through all cells and then deep into the knee joints. And if there is any discomfort, allow more of the healing energy up into the thighs and the hips and the buttocks. Allow the legs to relax completely. Legs and feet relaxing now. Letting go completely. As the healing energy moves up your back and your spine, releasing each and every vertebrae, each and every muscle of the back, up into the shoulder blades, letting go, letting go now, completely relaxing. As the healing, calm energy spreads from your hips and your intestines, up into all your organs, relaxing, releasing, calming down. Cells opening up to healing, rejuvenation, revival, rebirth. Up, up, into the stomach area, the liver, the spleen, the gallbladder, up into the heart. Feel the heart expanding. Opening wide to give and receive love in all ways. Feeling that love and calm radiating into your room and the space around you. And then reflecting back to your body again. Into your ribcage and your lungs. Allowing the physical body to breathe very deeply, to allow for life energy and prana to be gathered into the heart, into the bloodstream, to 
pump oxygen to each and every cell of your body. And as that calming energy flows over your chest, into your shoulders, deep into the shoulder socket, feel that release. Feel yourself growing heavy and heavier with relaxation as you do that now. Allowing the energy to flow down your arms, into your elbows, Deep, deep, each and every muscle and bone and skin cell into your wrists, palms of your hands, back of your hands, each and every finger releasing now, relaxing, growing heavy, allowing yourself to be comfortable as the energy flows up into your neck, your throat. Feel your jaw releasing the deep tongue into the left and the cheeks, the deep ones. Deep into the nose and the nasal cavity, opening up into the eyes, the brow releasing and relaxing, over the ears, into the forehead and the crown, over the skull, deep into the brain. Feel the mind opening up, and the mind expanding. Now feel the truth of your heart, your heart knowledge, the wisdom of your soul being activated in the heart center, communicating with the mind, guiding the mind into your highest truth so that the mind won't get stuck in the 3D world. And the mind connecting to the heart, promising the heart that it will act in harmony for what is best for the body and for the soul. For this body is your temple, it is your soul's vessel. Imagine that before there hasn't been enough room in this body for the complete soul to access it. Only drops of consciousness were present. And through many lifetimes, you have activated the DNA in which you incarnate. Because as the soul manifests into a body, the body resembles the activated soul, the frequency of the soul. And thus every time you reincarnate, every vessel has more room. As you incarnate purer, more aware, the DNA shifts, it opens up. You become a pure energy being. And this body that you've chosen in this lifetime is reflecting you where you are stuck in old habits. Old belief system that the world has taught you. Things that seem normal in your daily reality, but might not be in harmony with your soul truth. When will you start acting? 
speak in harmony with your soul truth. You want your soul to be visible to the world. And this is why the body needs to embody. Not in what you think the world expects to see. Not in what you think it should be. Or that you need to work on something or be more than you think you are. But just to allow, allow the soul consciousness to grow, to attach to your spinal fluid, allowing the spine to adjust so that the feminine energy can rise. And this is happening now. It was trying to remove that cloud of unawareness that keeps lulling you to sleep. This is a safe space to decide on a new lifestyle, a new way of being to serve yourself better than ever before. You are your true being. And with us become excited about the pilgrimage of your soul. Imagine now in front of you beautiful angel coming into your space bringing to you a gift that will help you access more awareness. Imagine that you are holding your hands out to receive and notice what this angel wants to put into your hand. Allow yourself to open up to receiving. Look at this gift. Put it into your heart center so that your mind can believe what the heart feels. That which is given as a gift can never be taken away. It can be buried by yourself, by your mind and your lack of belief, but it will never be gone. It is yours to keep. It is yours to create. And as this angel sits in front of you, if there is anything you need to know, not 3D based, but soul based, you may ask that now. Just allow the answer or things to come to you, feeling or picture. Know that we honor you. We admire your bravery, your courage. And we extend a hand to bring you forward 
influencing and process. Just feel yourself in the presence of the angels. Feel your body expanding and each and every cell opening up to become lighter, purer. A beautiful vessel for your soul being. This is a moment to be celebrated. Just allow yourself to be incubated in that space and stay here as long as you need to until you feel this, until you trust this. And the more you feel this in your physical body, the less you will doubt the less you will fear and the less excuses you will have. For the most important thing right now is your soul and your soul's journey. And being in a physical life is just a byproduct of the very important process that you are busy with right now. And we'll hold you in the space of incubation for as long as you need to. Just stay with us. Let us hold you. And just be there for as long as you need to be. When you are ready, your body will wake up by itself. Just relax and be. You are loved. Always.